Hi, this is Brandon from Stackhawk, and I'm here today to show you our new feature with our GitHub app, Pull Request Checks. This includes pull request comments and commit statuses, bringing Stackhawk closer to your development workflow than ever before. Going over the setup here, I have my service under scan in GitHub with a Stackhawk YAML and a build script. So I'm using GitHub Actions for this demo, but you can use any CI/CD provider. My Stackhawk YAML has a few extra configuration values, namely scan tags. So I'm passing the git commit SHA and the git branch to Hawk scan in a way that it can understand using these reserved tags. The CI/CD build is defining those two environment variables and translating them from how, in this case, GitHub Actions provides the commit shot and the branch name to my pull request builds. Over in the Stackhawk platform, I have the official GitHub app for Stackhawk installed and configured. So that means my Stackhawk application is mapped to my GitHub repository. Back in GitHub, we will switch to a feature branch. We'll make a quick code change and we'll open a pull request. We'll commit to our feature branch and open up a pull request. Right away, our GitHub Actions build and scan will kick off. And before long, we should see HawkScan as a pending commit status. Here's our HawkScan commit status. This details link will take you right to the platform for that specific scan so you can follow along. You'll also notice that the two scan tags we specified are up here, so the commit shot and the branch, so that way you can always track where a given scan came from. As the scan completes, you'll notice a PR comment with a high-level overview of your scan findings, along with that same link back to the Stackhawk platform. The scan commit status has also completed successfully, and you can still find the link to the scan here as well. Now let's simulate if there was a configuration error with your scan. So we'll come back to my Stackhawk YAML on our feature branch. I will intentionally create a configuration error and commit that to our feature branch. We'll hop back over to our pull request. Our CI CD build has already kicked off, so this will do the build and the scan with the Stackhawk commit status soon to follow. There's our pending Hawk scan. And pretty quickly, this will error out because of our configuration error. So there, the commit status has updated to an error. And then the comment this time tells us that HawkScan failed, along with a brief overview of why the HawkScan wasn't able to run. And then you can still get to the scan either from the comment or the commit status if you want to check the complete error details. Thanks for watching this quick overview of the new pull request checks with the Stackhawk GitHub app. I'm Brandon. Thanks.